Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Now we're talking about the political issues in reverse PDP. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yensom Wiki, has vowed to cause political crisis in the state of any governor who tries to interfere in the affairs of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in River State. Wiki said this at the PDP Secretariat in Port Harcourt on Saturday during the party's state congress. And of course, he says, let me assure you, not while we leave will anybody take away the structure of PDP from us, but let me tell people, I hear some governors who say they will you know, take over the structure and give back to somebody. I pity those governors because I will put fire in their states, he said. The PDP in River State has been in crisis following the fallout between Wiki and his predecessor, Fubara. Now, joining us to unravel all that is happening in River State is Wisdom Chap Jumbo. Good, he's a public affairs analyst. Good morning, Wisdom. Thank you for joining us. Good, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. Yes. Uh, very different to be online, not in the studio. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we'll still make do with what we have. Thank God for technology. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. we're talking about um, River State, and you were just telling me off air that you're currently there. You went for the um, uh, the state congress. Just tell me about the congress because there were a lot of things that was being said. One of which, um, Wiki has threatened that if any other governor tried to um, say something or do something in his state, he's going to put fire in theirs. I want to get your take on uh, the congress and what Wiki has said. Thanks so much. I mean, the Congress was, was well attended. Mm. Um, all delegates across the 319 uh, wards in the, in the state attended. It was colorful. It was beautiful. Uh, if you ask me, one of the very best we've ever had in the party in the state. Mm. So th there, is no, there is no contention at all on how that Congress went. It was a very successful one. Well, small chops being served. Oh, of course, we have, we have some small jobs now to eat, I'm just know, and then enjoy ourselves. Mm. And uh, it was really good. So, but, but the idea, we, we, we've had successful world congresses, mm. um, and we've had successful local government congresses across the country, local government. And uh, this was just, you know, the icing on the cake for the state congress. So, uh, my review on the congress, it was well attended. I must really thank our party leaders uh, who made sure it went so smoothly. And, and, and uh, successful. Uh, if I go further on, on the statements of our leader uh, of the party, uh, yes, on Wiki, look, you see, some of us, uh, uh, in a way, we, we like that uh, our leader is talking tough. Uh, what Wiki is saying is don't come and put your hands uh, uh, into what we have, we have put together as a party, as a structure in our state. Mm -hmm. Focus on your own state. And mind you, you know, some of these governors, they didn't even win their state in the last election. You know? So if you can't deliver your state, don't come and put your hands in our own state. You know, leave the state to run itself. Leave the state to manage its affairs. Don't meddle in it. Whatever are the issues, we'll find a way to settle within ourselves, which we are currently doing, and the party is moving forward. The issues are very little issues. You know, they are very small issues that, you know, some people with vested interests have overblown the issues to where we are today. But as party people, we are not looking at that. We are moving forward. We are building the party. We are building, uh, rebuilding our structures, and we are moving forward. That's where we are now. So when we can say, oh, we put fire in there, I say, look, uh, in politics, uh, 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 you know, some of this, Sometimes a winning strategy is putting crisis in all hands. You know, it's what they have used over time. Wiki will not be the first person that has done this. Currently, the Labour Party is in crisis, you know, and that is ongoing at the moment. Who knows who is putting that crisis inside the Labour Party? You know, so what Wiki is just saying is it's a warning. He has not said he will cause insecurity in anybody's state. He has not said he will, he will, he will, he will make any insecurity in any state with the way some people, analysts, are making it sound. What the former governor and the assistant minister is simply saying, say, please, leave our party for us to handle our internal affairs in River State. That's all the former governor is saying. We listened to him. We were there at the Congress. We heard everything he said. And generally, he tried to reassure party faithfuls that, look, we are heading forward regardless of whatever the issues are. It's as simple as that. If you cast your mind back, 
they, you know, uh, uh, when talk about uh, creating crisis in other in other parties, some people even in the PDP today, they have been used to it. We remember in 2014 how some people moved into the APC deliberately to cause crisis in the PDP that has lingered till today, that made us lose the party at the center. Some of them are back now, and we, they think we don't remember what they must have done in 2014, you know. And since 2014 till now, people like FC Minister Yesuzuki held the party down, even when the things are down, we were down at the time. So the man has paid, paid his dues. All he's saying is, leave my state and we'll handle our affairs. Okay. You know, that's all the man is saying. All right. Yeah. I, I understand that. I understand the fact that, I mean, he he reigns in, in River State. He's one of the revered leaders. But making a statement like that, don't you think it's a careless statement that can be misconstrued? Because right now, that's what is happening. Is, is, is there no better way to convey the message than saying, I will put fire in your state, like, if you come for my state? And at the end of the day, if we're talking about democracy, Aren't we supposed to be looking at it as one Nigeria? In the sense that if you're having issues in your state, I can come and, you know, be a mediator. I can come and give advice. Fine, I might not um, try to disrupt your structure, but shouldn't also other governors have a say when something is happening? It's just like when you look at, um, you know, some countries and... I know we don't like the fact that other countries like the US or the UK, they try to meddle in their affairs. But can't we also give advice? Can't we try to be as mediators? Because if you're saying that this is just a little issue that's happening in River State, it has lingered for so long. We're almost doing a year on this where we've been covering story on River State. Um, it's been since, I think, November last year-ish. And till now, there is still issues in the political space in River State. So why can't other governors try to mediate whatever is going on there between Yensom Wiki and Sim Fubara? I'll tell you for a fact. Um, some of them don't want to mediate. They have already taken sides. Mm. That is where, that's the problem that we're having. If you want to solve an issue between two people, don't pick a side. Right. When you pick a side, you're already biased. So... The problem we have with some of our leaders in the party at the moment is they've already taken sides. Rather than, you know, hear from both sides and try to solve the issues. Like you said, the issues have lingered to this point. It's because they have vested interests, you know, who want to benefit from the crisis that are, all, that are ongoing. You know, so, and they are benefiting. We are watching them. They are benefiting. But some of us want to stay with the side of the law. And we are sure that in due time, whatever the law, when the law will speak, uh, it will speak in our favor because we have stayed with the law. But the issue now is the crisis has lingered to this point because, trust me, some people, you know, they have vested interests, like we like to describe them. They are benefiting largely from the crisis. Look at what is going on in River City. You know, disregard for the law, disregard for due process, disregard for many things. We are running a state now where you know, we don't even have a budget. The mm. state governor is spending money, you know, uh, uh, from the state fund. There's no budget. The budget is presented to three people. A court has nullified it and declared it null and void. I asked him to represent it. He said no. He continues in that way to spend the money without any form of budget. And everybody is keeping quiet because some people are benefiting. You know, they, we know the money they are sharing, you know, as it is now. To, so we don't want to go. We will just stay with the law. And when the time is right, the law will speak. But the crisis in River State has continued till this point for only one reason. They have vested interests who are benefiting from it. And they are keeping up with different propaganda everywhere to continue to deceive, you know, the gullible ones to stay and be, and, 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 and be enjoying from the crisis. But uh, their days are numbered. Their days are numbered. And, and we know that uh, the, with the cases in court, at the moment, uh, when the time is right, uh, the law will speak. You know, if you look at the different provisions of the law and the issues that, for example, the budget issue, which is in breach of Section 120 of the Constitution, you know, where are we on that? It's in court. How would they survive that kind of case in court when you are spending without the budget? Oh, they will not come. Oh, the assembly, the state assembly, uh, they have lost their seat. That's why. If they have lost, if you say they have lost their seat, according to you, can you tell us which court has pronounced their seats vacant at the moment? Can you speak to that? 
If you can speak to that, let us know. Because there's no court that has declared their seat vacant. And you are not the court. Why not wait into that? So some of us, including the different youths uh, uh, in River State, especially the National Youth Council of Nigeria, the Youth Parliament of River State, everybody, the young people, they know and they are seeing the issues, but we are on the side of the law. So I will just answer you why the crisis have continued to this time is because people are benefiting from it. And uh, we hope that uh, when the time is right, when the law speaks, those people who are, you know, in, in breach of the law and they have, you know, benefited in any way, the consequences of the law will catch up with them. So that's why the crisis have continued. But we are not worried. We have taken back our party. Our structure is intact now from ward level to local government level to state level. The PDP is thriving, you know, and will continue to thrive uh, until the point where, you know, these issues finally come to a final conclusion, of course, through the courts. Hmm. All right, so, I mean, we're talking about the issue in River State, right? Should Jensen Wiki have so much power, especially with the fact that he's no longer the governor? Is he not supposed to allow the governor to perform his duties? Because right now he's the minister of the federal capital territory. Why is he, being the minister, still trying to meddle in the affairs of River State that is clearly not the governor anymore because it seemed like a, like a little issue, but it is a major one with the fact that the current governor can really not perform his duties the way he would love to. When we say uh, the FC minister is interfering in the duties of the governor, I, I, I'm, I, I beg to ask, has the FC minister come to sit in the River State uh, Executive Council meeting to decide what happens there? You are the governor of the state. As the governor, you are the executive governor of the uh, executive arm of government. Yeah. You are the ones that direct the affairs of the government. Can we say, when has the FCT minister come to sit in that meeting to tell you what to do in the, in the, in the executive council? Well, so well, uh, to, to, to play devil's advocate, he, he might mm -hmm. not, you know, just come to, um, as, you know, preside over anything, but he can mm -hmm. direct people, he can sow seeds, he can speak to people, because we saw how a lot of um, the, the um, legislators there had to decamp. A lot of them had to leave. People were resigning. So when you start to make statements and, in a way, it seems like passive aggression, things like that could happen. And that there's been an issue between him and okay. So if if Wike is not um, trying to interfere, then why is there an issue in the first place? Look, the governor Fubara is uh, uh, a member of the Wike political family. Mm. We are all the governor describes Wike as his own guy. Mm -hmm. So we are all been in one family. So. When family members now disagree, you know, these are some of the things that we see. But let me let you know now. When the former commissioner for works resigned from the government, George Alabo Kelly, he said, look, he was even worried that some of the projects they were doing, there were no budgets for it. Because at the time, the, the government had not presented budgets. So he was happy he had to resign from it. When the Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General also resigned and left, he, he, you know, he came on air to even say some of the issues. You know? So people who understand the direction and the provisions of the law that were the government, if they decide to resign, what is the issue with that? And because we are all one members of one political family at the time, of course, you know, when there are disagreements and they see these issues, and of course they know what the crux of the issues are, they decide to excuse themselves from the government. Why is that an issue? Why is that a wicked problem? The governor himself should be very worried that, as a governor, you are not able to hold your own people down. You are not able to, 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 to lead your, your government in the way that you should. That is where we should be worried. It's not trying to blame wicked for what wicked did not do. The propagandas are just too many. You know, if some of us were not from River State to see or understand the issues, maybe we'll just fly whatever we hear in the media, but you need to on, go to the state and understand some of these problems, to be very honest. So it, it's not a problem of Wiki interfering. Wiki, has, uh, I'm not sure, he, he has not even interfered in any way in what the governor is doing. We know that he was your, he's your leader and he made effort to bring you into government, you know. So that's not an issue. In, in politics, it's not an issue. 
you know so let's not make it a big problem as it is now we can have left you since we has stepped aside you know and you know you have decided to leave the family and you want to go and bail who has bothered you but what we can is saying they have said that we will not allow you to take that structure that brought you into office that structure is what we have worked for if you want to be out of it that's a fine that's a that's a fine case so like i said if we look at why this issue has continued. It's because some people have benefited. We don't want to name names. It's not the time to name names. When the time is right, we're going to name names. But some people are greatly benefiting from this. That's why they have made sure that the governor and Wiki, they had these issues three months into his government. So uh, I don't want to, to get into some of these things, but this is where we are now. The, the, former, FCC, the, governor, the former governor of FC Minister has not interrupted in any way in the in the, how the government is being run now at least for the last one year you have been running your government so why have you not you know made the progress that you didn't fit you need to make we are watching now to see if you say wiki was a problem now wiki has you know it's not the problem again where have we seen the progress but uh, 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 time will tell uh, and time would will let us know what the real truth is you know it cannot be hidden for so long and, mm -hmm. and when the time is right, all the facts of the issues will be out. All right. So what's the way forward now with River State? How can we um, ensure that both parties, that's both um, Yensam Wiki and Similai Fubara, they are on good terms? I know that the president sometime last year also tried to um, mediate. In fact, there was a peace pact that was being signed by Fubara, but still we're still seeing this issue linger. What's the way forward? How can River's PDP come together, put their house in order, and everyone is happy? You see, when the when the president called all stakeholders for that peace part, yeah. you know, I, I wish the governor had, you know, stayed true to that agreement. He came on air, made the broadcast to say, you know, he signed and is going to live through it. Why did he not live? Why did he not see through? He did everything on that mm. agreement and he left two things out of it. The budget, representing the budget, and then ensuring that there was local government elections at the time. So uh, I, I'm not sure with all that has happened now, I, I can't categorically say, uh, you know, what is the way forward for these two people to, to make that peace because different lines have been crossed, you know. So where we are now to move forward is we want the courts to make certain pronouncements on, on the different issues and, and everybody's in court. We are running a three-man assembly uh, with assembly members who were suspended for continues to parade themselves and carry on activities uh, uh, which, of course, are against the law. They have continued because the governor supports them. Uh, they have a speaker who has been screening, you know, members, you know, because the governor allowed it against the law. So where we are now uh, uh, is, for, is to allow the courts to make pronouncements on all of the issues that are in court so that when it is clear on where the position of the law is on these different issues, then I think at that point, we will not be able to now retrace our steps to where you know it all began and begin to let the people and the public know one by one all that they, they try to hide one way or the other. So this is where we are now. And, and, and until the court make these different pronouncements, for example, local government elections, uh, uh, we, the, the Supreme Court has said caretaker committees are wrong. But in our state, we continue to run caretaker committees, continue to give them monies. We want the court to, you know, make those pronouncements. We have issues to say, oh, why would the local government chairman tell not be extended? The courts have given clarity to that, that by the law, it is right, it is possible, you know, but we continue to parade city. So we want the final conclusion on the different cases in court, which we are very, very sure uh, uh, that, you know, we will come out on, the, on our side to say this is the true fact of the issues. And when those pronouncements are made, then we will have clarity, you know, on what uh, and how we need to move forward. Until then, I'm not sure any political solution at this moment uh, is even in sight, uh, mm. uh, because that will not solve the main issues. Let the law speak. And when, when the law speaks, uh, uh, we have direction on where we are going. Well, hopefully the law would speak and, you know, everything in River State would be fine. 
um, uh, both parties. And because I feel like even the people of River State would probably be suffering from this whole um, political crisis. But hopefully everything will be resolved. Everybody, um, uh, both parties will just be happy and be able to work with one another one another anyway this, this is where we have to wrap it up here thank you so much wisdom for coming we hope to see you in the studio really soon thank you for discussing this with us thank you all right so we're speaking with wisdom chap jumbo he's a public affairs analyst and we've just been talking about um the political crisis in river state and we hope that everything will be fine for the people of river state this is where we have to wrap it up on the show today thank you so much for having the breakfast with me my name is Rume paulson i'll see you again tomorrow have an amazing day and welcome to september once again bye-bye